Alyssa. Hello. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on the show. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited about your new album because I've gotten to hear a few of your new songs and they are so great. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We're pretty we're pretty excited about it. Cool. Yeah. I know you've been, you know, working on on the, with this band for a little while and you've, you know, already put out some music. Mm -hmm. um, how did you get started and why don't you tell us a bit about the band? Highland Kites is the name of her band. Yeah, Highland Kites. Um, let's see, how did I get started? It's sort of a long story, but <laughs> summarize it. Um, you know, my whole life I've been wanting to do music. I've been a poet, basically, since I was a little girl. I've had books and books of poetry and it's always been, I've always had a way with words and I love words and, you know what I mean, making people feel emotions through poetry. Um, and I've always wanted to do music, but I sort of always did other things and, you know, life happened. Um, and then I actually ended up getting sick is what actually happened. It was kind of a random situation, but that situation sort of made me take a look at my life and what I really want to do with my life. And at that point I sort of changed course and that's, that's a short story. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I think, um, you had Lyme disease, wasn't it? Yeah. That's amazing. And how did you like figure out what it was that like the um, symptoms and everything? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a tricky one to diagnose. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, and I normally talk to a bunch of people about it, but I kind of decided, you know, I should probably share my story because if someone else is going through it or if someone else has adversity, you know what I mean, in their life, it can always be overcome. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, it was weird. I was sick for many years and didn't know what was happening. Doctors, doctors traveling around the world. Um, and then finally a doctor here in LA actually was the one that tested for it and figured it out wow so yeah once I figured it out I was able to, to fix take it. care of it yeah amazing yeah but it was a really frightening time like it was a scary few years for me and it really kind of changed just changed me it changed the way I look at life the way I do things how fast I do things um you know how much importance I put on my dreams and you know what I really want to be doing so that's, well, at least something good came out of exactly, all of that. yeah. And that's why for me, I'm like, oh, I don't complain about what happened. I'm not sad about what happened because it changed me in a good way. You know, while it was like, no, I don't wish that experience on anybody. You know, it really did change me in a way that I'm very grateful for because, you know, it got me to put a fire under my own self. <laughs> um, you know, on yeah. my dreams and my goals and what I've always really wanted to do. So, wow. Yeah. So then you turned your poetry into songwriting. Yes. And what was like the first time that you started like actually doing music? Um, okay. I first started when I, while I was sort of ill and recovering, I was kind of a hermit. So I was very isolated and didn't really want to talk to people and you know what I mean? I yeah. was going through stuff. Yeah. Um, and music has always been for me, listening to music for my whole life, but particularly through this time period, um, has been an outlet for me that, you know, saved me in many ways. You know what I mean? That art form and feeling understood and being able to experience that beauty really helped me. So it's sort of when I started toying around with it and, learning the piano and, you know, playing around with instruments and deciding like, okay, good, this is, this makes me happy. It sort of got me through the worst parts of, of everything. Um, I think that's really, really cool because music does mean so much to me. And I think it really does make a huge difference in people's lives, especially, mm -hmm. you know, when there's an emotional impact and, you know, so I think that's really amazing. And also the fact that you play piano while you're standing, while you're standing and singing, like at the same time, that's very uncommon. It's mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. mean, like I, I saw I saw your show at the House of Blues. It was yeah. really cool. And so she's like sitting there singing and just like sort of pounding on on the piano on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's really cool that you that you do that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. How did you teach? Did you teach yourself or did you start getting lessons or I started teaching myself and then I um, went and got lessons because I was like I want to I sort of laid out a time frame for myself and I'm like I need to do this like in the next you know six months I need to be on stage doing shows 
So I Whoa. found, yeah. From found, zero to six months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I found an amazing music teacher who was just totally understood me, what I wanted to do. Um, and he taught me in such a way that I could write right away. Like I wasn't, you know, I wasn't like, oh, I want to learn classical or I want to learn how to read sheet music right now. I just, I want to be able to put my poems to songs. So he taught me real quick and then I sort of just went on from there and kept going. Wow. Yeah. That's so amazing. Yeah. So cool. It yeah. sounds like you've been playing forever. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> it's practice. I mean, people, it's funny because people sometimes are like, you must, must have a natural gift for this and blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I mean, maybe to a degree, I don't know, but I don't have anything to compare it to. You know what I mean? But, yeah. um, I feel like just like anything in life, it's just dedication. It's hard work and it's loving it so much that you, that's what you spend your time doing. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. just what you love to do. It's true. It's funny yeah. because like everybody that I've talked to on the show so far, like it just seems to be a common thread through everything is that like if you really love doing it you're gonna figure out how mm -hmm. you know you just go and put your time into it and and uh, it's paid off and now you have this amazing album that's about to come out yeah what's the name of your album all we left behind cool it's uh it's 10 songs okay it's probably i mean we did one ep before this one um which you know i obviously love that ep it's my first you know now is this the one with the video that yes. you just shot yes oh the good new okay cool what's the yeah. name of this song small frame small frame yeah so that's cool. the the single that we released off the album awesome before the actual full release okay um and we should show everybody your new video yes let's <laughs> do that <laughs> okay good so check it out here is marissa figueroa and highland kites out in the grass <laughs>
I like it. Yeah, sort of fairy esque <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. And um, so, so that's your new EP, mm-hmm. and then the album. When is it going to come out? Uh, sometime in July. Okay. Yeah, probably mid July. So right now you can pre-order it. Cool. You know, if you want to, it's um you can pre-order it and get two songs. And yeah, it's coming out soon. We're just have some things we're doing before the release, but. So when are you gonna? Or I'm sorry, where do people go to pre-order the song? My website. So highlandkites.com. Cool. Yeah, is where you would go, and it's like you know, right when you go on the site, it's right there. Pre-order the album. So awesome. So okay, so good. It's coming out in July. Mm-hmm. And um, are you guys starting to figure out like doing some touring, or what is your next step? Yes, in July we are. We're it's still in the middle of being figured out. Um, we've teamed up with a few different indie bands, and we're going to be doing shows locally and then we have um a show in washington a show in possibly in canada we have like some some cool stuff in the works so we'll definitely be traveling this summer awesome yeah that sounds exciting yeah it's very exciting that's the beginning of your your touring and then it's going to get bigger and bigger yes that's the plan um so cool uh do you have any advice for people that maybe you want to get into making music I would say um, you just need to start. (laughs) That's really what I would say. You know, it's funny because there's so many considerations that people have on doing art. I know I used to have tons of considerations. It's like, well, am I really a good singer? Can I really do this? It's going to take a lot of work. Do people like my music? You know, there's so many different, aside from the fact that what you're doing and writing is so incredibly personal that sometimes you're just, do I really want people to know this about me? You know, it's sort of, it's interesting, but I feel that anyone can do it if they really want it, you know, and anyone can put their mind to it and anything and make it happen, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, It's just, it's hard work, but at the same time, when you're, I mean, you know, like when you're so passionate about something, when you're done, you know, working for 14 hours, you're not like, oh, that was a drag and... I really want to just watch TV now. Like that's not, you know what I mean? That's not how you feel. You're you're no. inspired and excited and mm-hmm. so that's true. Yeah. That's when you like stay up till 4 in the morning and you know. Right? Cuz you can't stop because mm-hmm. you're so, you know, passionate about it and that's that's really how I feel about music. I'm just very passionate about it and um, I have a lot of admiration for artists and other artists and I have a lot of friends that are artists and I feel like, you know, what that type of person, what the artist does for the world and for the community and for other people is so inspiring. I love that message. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Fully, fully agree with you on that. Yeah, totally. And you are a great example of that. So I, I really am excited about your new album coming out. And I, you know, I, I definitely think that you need to get some, some record labels checking you out and get some, you know, management and whatever it is that you need so that you can get your songs out there and, and uh, people will enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're working on it. I mean, the first thing, I don't know, I kind of enjoy where we're at right now. Like, I'm very excited for what's to come. You know, we have a lot of exciting things happening, but I love having full control over my music and Mm -hmm. what I write and how I write it and what shows we do. And you know what I mean? It's it's nice to, to have that. And I'm excited to find people that want to help us, that see our vision. Totally. Yeah. I'm really excited about your new producer that was working with you on this album. You mm-hmm. want to tell us a bit about that? Um, well, his name is Raymond Richards, and um, he's produced like some of my favorite indie bands. So when he contacted me, I was very, very excited because he's somebody who I'd named that I really wanted to work with. Yeah. Um, so he's great. We met and, you know, we clicked right away um, every idea that he had you know everything that I brought forth he agreed like we just you know some people you just mesh with really well yeah yeah so that that happened awesome yeah. <laughs> so what sort of bands has he produced um he's produced some um, uh the local natives um honey honey avid dancer um just some some really great indie bands he sort of has I mean if you go to his studio you'd see he has just like these beautiful vintage instruments and um, he's just really good with his instruments and he's really good with, with ideas and collaborating and, 
and we just we really hit it off with him because we really wanted with this album to to go like less electronic and have more of a vintage instrumental sound you know because cool. you know a lot of our in, like my influences specifically were you know our people that you know the cure and yeah yeah the smiths and you know things like that where they have sort of like a very vintage sounding guitar cool anyway so that's that's what we were looking for so you know this album's great i got to record it on like a beautiful baby grand piano with wow. a bunch of you know a, a real organ and just it was really fun that's really so fun. cool yeah wow so how did you like get hooked up with him um actually it was really kind of all happened by happenstance I guess I don't know if that's the right word it it (laughs) happened by chance I guess um some a music blogger had you know liked one of our songs and blogged about it and it had come up on his feed and he went and listened to our album and he was like oh I really like these guys and so he sent me an email um wow yeah so it's just kind of I don't know it's been one of my one of the things I do is I'm constantly like submitting to competitions and writing to different people and putting my music up everywhere I can. Mm. And I found that that's given me more, like, it's just given me so much, um, what's the word? Exposure. It's exposure, yeah. yeah. Like, people that I wouldn't have met if I didn't do that, you know. I feel it's, like, it's really important, especially for a new musician. Like, make some good music that you're proud of and then just go out there. Like, submit to competitions, do shows, play live as much as you can. Just, you know... Just, All right. Yeah. So kids, going out there, <laughs> submit your songs to the competitions. That's what Marissa says. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's important. And then for us, I feel like, okay, that, you know, submitting to as many things as you can, you know, putting your music out there, being confident about it. And then also live shows are so important, you know, because mm-hmm. your live sound is really an important part. You know, when people go to see, when your fans go to see you, you don't want them to be like, well, that was disappointing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that that would suck. So How it, often do you guys practice? Right now, we practice, um, like, three to four times a week for, like, four hours each wow. time. Yeah. But we've been, you know, we've been writing a lot of new stuff. Like, we're already writing our next, next album. So we tend to just, once we have momentum, we just want to roll totally. with it and keep it going so it's creativeness is going and flowing yeah, yeah for sure and also you know one thing I feel is really important is to never think that you've hit a point where you can't improve you know what I mean or be like okay that was good it's can't be better or you know I'm constantly like now I'm learning guitar I'm like learning new instruments how to better play my instruments constantly playing live and singing and you know just figuring it out so that you're improving all the time because cool. that's also gonna you know help in whatever your goals are is like just improve work hard practice good that's my my two cents <laughs> that's <Okay>. awesome <laughs> so now you're you know piano and you're learning guitar and are, are there any other instruments that you're trying to learn um not right now but I'm very much want to learn how to play the cello oh cool I'm super I don't know why I just I've always really wanted to play the cello awesome so that'll probably be my next endeavor well you also sing so that's another instrument yeah true Mm -hmm. True. (laughs) (laughs) well cool I'm so excited for you and I think it's great that you have that new producer working with you and I think that your album came out amazing so far from what I've heard and I and I haven't heard all the songs but I'm sure they're awesome yes we're very excited we're I love it because it's very much just who we are Cool. Like there's no embellishment, there's no autocorrect or like any of that stuff. It's just like this. No auto tune. No, man, come he on. He doesn't. What? He doesn't do that. It's just. <laughs> it was great though. Like when I came to the studio, he was like, "Okay, so we don't correct vocals. We don't do that. So get it right." Nice. And it was just very like, okay, good. Like we have to work and get it right and do a good job. So I feel that you know this album is. It's really you know the lyrics and the songs are very personal to me, and um, you know it's. It turned out to be this really emotional, beautiful story that I got to tell with my music that I'm very proud of. So, wow. yeah, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big deal. I mean, it's kind of like I've I've talked about it before, but I really love music personally, and mm-hmm. it's kind of one of those things that like I have to do it someday, right. you know, or like I, I mess around and play with things. But yeah. when people really get out there and just go for it, like what you've done, it's it's like it's really inspiring. So Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's so cool. Thank you. <laughs> so I know that you have a band and you have a couple different guys in your band. Do you want to tell us a bit about about them? 
Well, the um, the stable man in my band um, is named Neil, Neil Briggs. Cool. He's awesome. He's my drummer. Okay. The drummer. My drummer. Sounds weird. <laughs> Sorry, Neil. Um, he's the drummer, and he's great. We work really well together, and um, we've had a few different guitar players. We're sort of in the middle of sort of a transition on that right now. Cool. So, so yeah, right now it's Neil and I. So you're looking for new guitar players? Yes, we are. Oh, okay. So hey, guitar players, go ahead and submit. <laughs> We're fun. <laughs> yeah, go check it out um, at highlandkites.com. Yes. You can probably contact them there and on Facebook or something, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So cool. People can just connect up these days. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about this before the show about how people will come up to her that she's like not even talked to for so long and be like, oh, yeah, it's cool. You're doing that album now. And she's kind of like, what? How? Oh, social media. Yeah. 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 It's it's funny. It's like, don't ever underestimate, you know, what, what that does. Or like, don't think that your efforts are futile. Because sometimes you put stuff up and you're like, oh, nobody looks at it. Nobody but they likes do. it. But they do. <laughs> they do. I have people yeah. come up to me that I'm like, God, I've never seen you, you know, look at any of my posts or comment on anything. But I, they do. Yeah. So... Cool. Yeah. And so how did you get the gig on the House of Blues, at the House of Blues? Um, we were contacted by a booking person there. Oh. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. They, All of these people are coming to you. I, I mean, that's a really good sign. Yeah. I, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting there thinking, well, I submitted like 10 times and blah, blah, blah. But no, you're like, oh, they called me. Yeah. I don't What's know. Up? I don't know how the booking, I guess they just find bands and I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Yeah, we've gotten some gigs too by like, um, I'll go and I'll, um, one way that I use social media is I go and I find other bands that, you know, maybe sound kind of like us or that we really like, and then I'll contact them. I'll be like, hey, you guys want to do a show and just get in touch that way? Cool. And that's opened the door to different venues that maybe we wouldn't have been able to play in before. Cool. Um, you know, using that. Like, I feel like there's ways to use social media that's sort of, not very effective and then there's amazing things about social media and being able to you know find and talk to other bands is one of the definite perks totally of social media so yeah yeah that's amazing yeah well i'm i'm you know just wishing you the best with the band and i got to see your last performance and well you know everybody should go and check out your social media too so that they can find out when you're going to be playing next and all that sort of thing yes for sure yeah. yeah, my social media, I mean, everything's under Highland Kites. You can find us. We have, you know, Bandcamp, a website, uh, Reverb Nation. We have all that. So you can listen to our music. Um, we put all our booking stuff up there, all our shows. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, we should probably have you do your song then. Okay. All right, cool. Hi, I'm Marissa from Highland Kites, and this is an acoustic version of one of our songs called Polaroids. It's time to give up our love 
Your voice so soothing, you cold at it. It was bad when I saw that love is never equal at all. And the burden I carry, I carried it alone. My bones start to crack from holding our worth together. Too long, and I'm on my back from holding our worth together for so long. I was always there. Thank you so much for watching singer-songwriter Marissa Lamar on The Red Booth.